start recording. Sweet. All right. Um, okay. Very cool. Alright everyone, welcome to uh, The Chosen One, um, Minecraft Power Hour with The Chosen One and Takoyaki. Um, let me check to see if the sound is good. Alright, that sounds pretty good. Um, Alright, yes, let's get started, shall we? We're working on the bridges, we're working on portals, we're working on everything today. <laughs> yes, let's get started. You are at the end of the railway, right? I believe so. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Alright, welcome to another, well, day four of Minecraft Power Hour 2018. We are back to continue this long railway to Iceland. I am here with the chosen one. I was at the main house getting tons of gold. That's good. That's good. Oh, we need all man. the gold we can get. <clears throat> So, I left it running for almost a day. That's good. And I ended up with nine and a half stacks wow. of... That's good. ...of uh, gold nuggets. And way more rotten flesh than I could ever <laughs> even imagine what to do with. But, uh, yeah, so now we have, that's good. I have two and a half stacks of, uh, <laughs> of powered rails. Oh, that's good. That's good. We, we definitely need that. And, uh, however much, <clears throat> however much I left over there, uh, make sure there's no creepers. Okay. Okay. All clear. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how many. Uh, we definitely need um a lot more um lava for I guess uh the, the furnaces and stuff like that because okay. we're running out of stone slabs. Okay. Oh, are there like tons of buckets in the thing? There are. Oh, just like people. Um, I don't think there are any buckets. Um, okay. Pause it. There you go. Is it HDMI one? Is your TV acting up again? Yeah. <laughs> um. Is the batteries working? Is it plugged in? Yeah, how come I can still hear it? Let me see. Gonna keep this tree here, or are we gonna take it out? Uh, take it out. Okay. I think I was just trying to get get distance. <laughs> la 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 la. 
la 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 it's cool I could actually place them. I don't miss. Oh, I also did something extra over the weekend. What'd you do? So one of the really, really long tunnels. I want it to uh I'm on a roll. Oh no, I missed. Dang it. I um I wanted to meet up with um the beach village. So Oh you took another detour? Yeah. That's cool. So I um I went to the beach village and I was like, okay, I want the br Oh, also, I've been brainstorming. <laughs> I've been brainstorming a lot of stuff. One of the, like <clears throat> the underwater railway. I've been brainstorming that. Oh, this is tunnel one too short. Yeah. Oh, the smelter. I walked right past the smelter. <laughs> So, I want to make underwater, because um, we're going to eventually run into a spot where... It's oh, too cool. long to make a bridge? It's like a super duper, super long bridge, and <coughs> I don't want to make a bridge that, bridge that long. So, I'm thinking about going underwater. We're going to need a lot of uh, glass. Yep. Luckily, we'll be passing the uh, the desert. Um, desert before we get there. So, my question is, I don't know how we're going to construct it like that. Because um, that's a lot of time being underwater. <laughs> um, well, I could do the bucket, my bucket method, but um, I don't know. What the, uh... Uh, I don't know why I can never remember that. <laughs> um, I, but I there is, doing... oh, okay. go ahead, go ahead. there is like aqua affinity, like for your hat, for your hat and stuff like that. <clears throat> yeah. So I don't know what level that is for. So, but yeah, there is, there is definitely something. So I think I have, a, um, an enchantment book that has aqua affinity on it. I just don't know. How it, I've never used it, ah. so I'm kind of like I don't, I don't want to be like okay, I should be able to breathe and jump underwater and drown. Well, it takes longer for your uh, things to go down. Okay. So like normally it takes it take it goes really fast, but if you have like one, it goes a little slower. Um, but if you have like three or four or whatever, like the highest thing is, then it takes a really long time, and you can stay down for as long as as long as it takes, pretty much. Okay. So, see, so yeah, I got, I don't know, I don't know if we should just, should just go ahead and st start it as a test, or if we should test it, and then when we get there, then be like, yeah. <laughs> play it by ear kind of way? Or yeah, I don't know, if, I don't know if we should play it by <laughs> ear, or test it, and then, and then we'll know exactly how we want to do it. 
But, uh, because I'm, I'm not sure if we're going to need, like, are we going to need sponges to suck out the water? Or sure, are we going to build the glass frame and then just place dirt to, and then t pick up the dirt to get rid of the water? Oh, uh, that is a good question. I'm not sure. But, um, that's one thing that I was thinking about this weekend. Um, and let's see. It was uh little baby trees falling out of the sky. That's because <laughs> I uh I took out that tree. Yeah. Okay. Um So I am here and so I could go ahead and start building the other bridge. I have the this in the Oh, why do I bring? Why did I bring the fences? <laughs> uh, oh, the other day, this weekend, <laughs> everything happened this weekend. <laughs> this weekend, um, I went to the villager breeding center, and uh, there are two witches in there. Uh oh. I'm like, what happened? Did somebody curse y'all, or, or, did you make her angry? And sh what happened? So. I um I ended up going to what is it? Uh, uh You're good at that. I I like I get every third one time third time in Oh the time. uh the, the torch it's, trick? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty easy. It's it's not that bad. <laughs> um but yeah, so then I, um, oh, and then I, I also crafted my, my, uh, creeper killer. Your, what's that? This is my bow with, oh, like, oh, oh. unbreaking three, power five, and punch two. Wow, that's awesome. I pu punch one. I, I have another punch that I can add to it. I just need 35 enchantment levels. So, that's the next time I... That's amazing. Yeah, so the next time I go and, um, and, uh... Um, so the next time I go and uh, mend my tools, I will, um, what am I doing? I gotta put up these things. Okay, not that, because that's all of the rails and stairs, and that has all that. That's all dirt. That's all cobble. Okay, I put it in here. Cart, if you don't quit humping my leg. Art. <laughs> art? Who's art? Cart. Oh, cart. It was like the art. Cart. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's my little dog. He's, he's in heat. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, what was... Okay, so this roof needs to be done. Uh... Oh, I got rid of all the cobble. Let me go back and get some of that. <clears throat> but, uh... Let's see, so I started thinking about the glass... Um... Sub... Subway. And I'm trying to think, like, should I... I've been thinking about all the sub... Like, all the, um... All the subways. And I'm like... Some of them, are, the original ones that I made, are not directly under the railway that's above it. They're, they're off by, like, some weird numbers. Okay. And that's because, um, I don't know, I, I just, I made it so where the ladder doesn't come up right where the uh, railway was. And I made it so far off. That uh, ends up being like anywhere from like three to four blocks off. Oh, so um, yeah. so as far as um, the original ones, I'm gonna just leave. They're just they're just bad and crooked. 
I'm gonna leave those. It's, it's not worth remining them. Um, but then as far as the new ones, um, like especially the one that we started from, that one um, tunnel that we finished and then started making the bridges and all that and mm -hmm. continuing. The um, very first one, kind of in a way. Yeah, the first one as far as Power Hour goes. Um, it uh, when you meet one of those intersections, there's like a ladder right in the corner. That tunnel is directly under. That subway is directly under the railway. So from there on out, I want to make them all directly under. Like whenever you reach an intersection, you mm -hmm. can go downstairs. Oh, that's <clears> cool. And decide to take the subway or the, or if you want to go mining, you can just go straight down and it'll be uh, <clears throat> all lined up. I don't know if that's going to cause issues in the future. <laughs> in what way? Um, as far as like the mining tunnels, let's oh. say you, let's say you'd mine, um, you go to one intersection and you go all the way down and then you start mining and then you mine all the way to another intersection. Hopefully those tunnels will line up, <clears throat> ah. but I don't, I don't think it's a big issue if they don't, you could just skip. Um, you can just skip some space. Uh, let's see. How's this going to work? <clears throat> so this pond right here is only one block deep. <laughs> oh, is it? Do you yeah. want to make, do you want to make a bridge or? I, I think I'm going to just like put dirt here and okay. just have it continue straight. Of course, I don't have any dirt on me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use part of this this tunnel. Use some of like the hills and stuff like that. Yeah, that's that's what, that's what I was. I meant I meant hill. Uh, I don't remember. Man, my brain. <laughs> not hold on to anything. It's the it's the uh, weather, I guess. Uh, so uh, <laughs> use your words, Taco. Use your words. I don't remember what the words were. about the underground subway oh and then how they all are gonna line up it shouldn't cause any issues because you could just skip I think was there something like another other than set, trying to set up Cortana. Because I want Cortana set up on my second account, not my main one. My, my main one. So, <clears throat> like, there's one that I have for my phone and my actual reminders, and then I want one just for the stream. That'd be cool. That'd be interesting to see. Yeah. Um, for some reason, on my phone, when I say, so the, oh, the other computer's not turned on, so I can say it. Okay. <laughs> so, because <laughs> every time I say, hey, Cortana, then my, my other computer would be like, yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, uh, it's turned off, so it shouldn't be doing anything. Um, but... Yeah, I was trying to get it. So on my phone, if I say it, it um, it puts on groove music. Mm -hmm. But then in Windows 10, um, the desktop, like, um, dead. in Windows 10, it um, tries to play 
iHeartRadio. Mm. And I don't know. I don't think there's a way to default it to uh to play Groove Music. I'm like, why aren't you playing your built-in app? I would think you'd prioritize that. You do it on the phone. Why don't you do it on the desktop? It's weird. So I have to tell it to open the Groove Music app and then um, then I'll just have to click play. <laughs> so um, I'm starting to see why nobody uses it. <laughs> it's, it's not set up very uh, intuitively. But, uh, and then I'm trying to think of what to get it to, like, what to ask ask her. And be like, hey, Cortana, tell me an interesting fact. Tell me a joke. Yes, she definitely has that built in. Um, and I got it to work. It's just, I ran into that same issue that I had for, um, for the dual PC setup, mm-hmm. like my my audio interface, um, everything that go everything that's in port one uh, works perfectly, and if I put something into port two, like the output of the audio, mm-hmm. it it um lights up like it, it, the signal reaches it. It's just I can't hear it. And that's the way it's supposed to be because whenever you're talking into a microphone, you're not supposed to hear it. Right. So I'm like, well, then what am I supposed to do? (laughs) So that's where I got stuck in the summer. And now I'm stuck again and I got to figure out (laughs) how to how to get it to work. Um, okay. Oh, and then my baby computer died. Uh, the, the Ethernet cord. Oh, Ethernet that's always cord. awful. That's never fun. Uh, it's weird because it's like it blinks and then it stops. And then it blinks and then it stops. <laughs> so I'm like, is that like an error message? Like an error code or I'm still alive please fix me yeah so, I'm... Oh. so I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that right now because I need to fix it in the next two weeks because that's the computer that I run the Skype call from for my podcast ah. It's weird how so dependent you become on one machine to be like, okay, I need this to work and it's working fine. And then it's like, oh, oh it's not working. And now I need to actually like pay attention to fix it. To be like, I yeah. rely on this for work or school or hobbies and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> it's like I have a solution. It's just, it's going to take so much time to get it all set up and it <clears throat> so right now the episode 32 of the podcast um it is currently six weeks late oh no and i just posted it last weekend so it is no longer well it it, it, it got posted six weeks late the current episode, 33, <clears throat> is one day late. That's not <laughs> too bad. To, it's supposed to come out today. But, um, I was planning on editing it, um, like throughout this week and then posting it next Monday. So then it'll be, uh, just one week later than normal. The only problem is I need to fix the other computer in the next two weeks. And 
I, I don't know. <laughs> I wish you like, the best of luck. Because, like, if I fix the other one, then I kind of want to set up. Because I have one right here. Like, um, when the thread rippers came out, the um, the old the old AMD processors um, uh, went on clearance. So I grabbed one. Uh, it was like one third of the price. I'm like, yes. <laughs> so and it was it was a process that like before I got the i series of processors. Um, I, before I got my i3, I was debating. I'm like, should I get the should I get the AMD one with eight cores, or should I get the i3 quad core with a uh, with um the multi-threading so it ends up having eight cores anyway and i ended up going with intel but now i have, now i can go back and get the amd one and uh it's i think it's strong enough to handle the stream like if it's just doing streaming But I haven't got a chance to test it, and I think I'm at, like it's really gonna be put through the test now because I think I'm gonna start running the podcast off of it. So on the crawling, I run the podcast in the office, and then I run the other stream out here. So then I'm gonna have to um, do double um, duty in a way. Well, it's it'll be a pain to move it. So basically, I had um, like over the last what. 10 no um what is it ah what am i doing <laughs> every time i get into a store i start putting like ah oh, this is gonna be a power section even though it's not supposed to be uh, <laughs> so over the last let's just say 10 years i think it's been longer but is it over the last 10 years i built nine no Maybe 15 years. I can't remember. Um, <laughs> I built like nine computers. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Um, so I have like old, old computers that like back from 2012 or 2009 or something like that. And that's the computer that I've been running the podcast on. Like at first there was a Celeron processor because I couldn't afford an $130 processor at the time. So I got me the $56 one. And uh, it was faster than what I had before. So I'm like, okay, this is great. This is working perfectly. And then um, I needed something faster. <coughs> so then um, I either saved up or something. I don't know. It was like almost a decade ago. <laughs> um, <laughs> and ended up getting the I, my first I, like I series. So I got an i3. Then I um, started working where I work now, and uh, then I can actually afford stuff. Disposable I, income, yay! Yeah, it was, it was like one of the first times I've ever had disposable income and only having one job. Uh, so, then I got a, so I had the i3, and um, at work I was using a i5, i7, and I'm like, well, my computer at home is garbage now <laughs> compared to this. So I um, couldn't afford an i3 yet. I had some disposable income, but not not i7 disposable. <laughs> so I, um, I ended up building a second machine instead of upgrading the first machine. Um, and also because we had a we had um, multiple computers networked together, um, we could do render farms. So like. Oh. Instead of having one computer render the whole image, you'd have like multiple computers jump in, and it gets everything done better. And basically, he did the same thing that I that I would end up doing. <laughs> he um, upgraded over the years, and every time he upgraded, the last computer that he used ended up getting added to the uh, to the render farm. So, uh, okay, keyboard. Now I'm doing the opposite. This supposed to be a power section. Uh, <laughs> so, 
So eventually, I um, I had my i3, then I built an i. Oh no no no! I had my Celeron machine, and then I got tired of the Celeron, and then I um, yeah, the Celeron was too slow. So then I built the i3, and then the i3 was too slow, and I built the i5, and then my wife wanted a computer. So then I took this the. Well, I, I tried to give her the Celeron one, and it was too slow. So then I pulled the Celeron out, and uh, where's my bed? <laughs> there it is. Okay. Go. So um, I pulled the Celeron out and got an i5 and replaced it. So right now she's rocking the i5, and then I got, like, a really good... Um, uh, tax return and um, so basically I was uh, I was kind of stuck like oh that's what it was I was I, I was running the podcast and everything and I'm trying to find like the best way to edit so I'm like looking up all these computer parts and all that kind of stuff and asking people at Fry's and they don't know what I'm talking about because <laughs> they're just there for their paycheck and they're not like a PC enthusiast oh, no. I'm, like, I'm like why am I even talking to you and then, um, and then every now and then I'd find like the lead, and he's the lead because he knows the stuff. So, um, two different times I found two different people who were really, really cool, and they, um, one of them was, um, he might have been Korean. I was this Asian guy, and the other one was this uh, this redheaded dude with a beard. Hey, heavy rain. Hello. How's it going, guys? Going pretty good. Welcome. Uh, I joined. I joined a little bit, but I wanted to hear your story. Uh, <laughs> um, so you know, there was this redheaded dude with a beard. He was cool, and then there was this um, Asian guy. And the Asian guy actually taught me about um, like not complete server class um, processors, but um, uh, like workstation. Oh, that's processors, cool. and it's like in between. And uh, I knew about dual core and quad core, and I've heard I had heard of six core, but um, I thought that was the max. And then once you get to Xeons, I didn't like know that Xeons can have up to like forty four cores and all that kind of stuff. They're like freaking six thousand dollar processors, but um. From what he told me is that if I spent a hundred dollars more than an i7, then I could um, actually no, two hundred dollars more than an i7. I think what it was, then I could get a whole lot more performance. And I'm like, well, that processor costs as much as in an entire computer that I build. <laughs> but I look back and it's like over the years. I've spent like, let's say I spent two thousand dollars building four computers. I could just build a monster computer for two thousand dollars instead of like two i fives and two i threes. <laughs> so um, I was like, okay, so I'm not gonna build any more baby computers anymore. Um, hello, Avery. So yeah, we just got the pattern going. You are endermining again today. <laughs> Am I? Uh, I was. I've been having difficulties with this. Yeah. Good thing I, we're talking about PCs right now. <laughs> <laughs> How uh, coincidental. Yeah. Uh, so. It's almost like it's meant to be. Right. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, Oh, so yeah. Um, so he said, if I could, if I spent two hundred dollars more on the processor, that I could get like a workstation class machine. And I was like, I hadn't, yeah, I had thought about it, and I was like, I spent so much. I spent about two thousand dollars building four computers. And I'm like, what could I actually do if I actually just went, just no, not, not money's no object, but <laughs> I was like, let me go a little. Let me, let me let me explurge a little bit. 
Yeah, exactly. I was like, let me let me splurge for once on a PC. So I start I do started doing a bunch of research and I found out that in the workstation class there's um six core, eight core, and ten core processors. I'm like, oh okay. And then I started looking at the price and it's like uh five hundred, seven hundred, and a thousand. And I'm like, so I'm not spending a thousand. I'm not spending seven hundred. And like five hundred is still a lot for the process. I think it might may have even been six hundred. Um, yeah, maybe six hundred, eight hundred, and twelve hundred, something like that. Like some like the price of a PC, basically, just for the processor. And um, I was trying to find out like what's my best bang for my buck. Um, of course, nowadays the best bang for your buck is Threadripper because you get more cores, you get more cores for the price but back then it like amd was still on i uh intel was just dominating the market so um even if i were looking into xeons and stuff like that which are like the server class processors um there was no amd equivalent like opteron was there but they they they're like at the end of their life they're not they were no competition to um to the xeons so i'll start looking at the workplace work workstation class um, processors and I went to this website called um, CPU benchmark or something like that and I started looking at the prices of all these different um, processors and I started looking at the um, the comp- I don't know what that pro- what that number is but it's like the the benchmark number um, so whatever number it is I just call it processing power so let's say an i5 back then would have like 4,000 processing power. And then an i7 would have like five to 6,000 processing power. And i3 would have like 4,000. So I'm like, okay. So if I spend 200 bucks, then I get uh, like 6,000. I started looking at the workstation class machines. And it's like, if I spend 600 bucks, I get 12,000 processing power. Wow. Which is basically double the price of a um, i like is a double the processing power of an i five, but it's double the price of an i seven as far as money goes. So I'm like, it's not even, it's not like I could, I could buy two i fives, and have the same amount of processing power. Yeah, I'd have to get all the um, like all the internal parts for the PC, but I. Don't, it's not it's not enough for me to actually get it. Then <laughs> I uh, started checking fries on their sales because they um, they started this whole promo code thing, and some like two people kept asking me to sign up for it. It was like two employees, and I was like, Nah, I don't I don't need the promo I don't code. Think you know. Yeah, so they kept bugging me, and I'm like, You know what? Fine. So I signed up for it, and. Uh, it started spamming me every day. They're like, hey, we got like 80 things on sale. And I'm like, that's nice. Um, I'm going to go back to what I'm doing. <laughs> and uh, what was it? Uh, throughout throughout early, like at the end of the year, something crazy happened. But during the beginning of the year, when I signed up for it, it wasn't giving me anything like. like useful, anything useful. Yeah. Um. Then they, um, what was it? They started selling the uh, uh, LED lights. And that was back, whoo, maybe two, three years ago, back when LED lights were like eight, eight dollars a bulb and like not even worth it. was one of the things where it's like, uh, what is it? Um, what do they call, what do they call the people who want to be like the, the first people the, who the ravers? No, the first the first people who get into technology. Ah, um, uh, the first uh, the first time not the first timers, but like like hipsters. No, hipsters are usually they they bring their aren't they they um like they like that's old. They like, like things that are cool before they're cool, and then they yeah, write yeah, about yeah. like oh yeah, I used to like it when uh when yeah, only before, three before, people knew about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. It's a term, um, like let's say like an eight eight K TV comes out, um, it'd be the people who like invest into those. 
I know exactly what you're talking about, and and it's like on the tip of my tongue, and yeah, I can't think of it. Yeah, so I didn't want to be one of the first people to spend money on the uh, the bulbs. So I was like, well, that's that's way too expensive. Like eight dollars a bulb, that's too expensive. I get it for like fifty cents. Um, and that was back when um, it's not halog- What is the in the CFL bulbs were out? The little curly Q ones. Oh, I have no idea. I have no idea. The ones that still have mercury in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was when those were popular because they're like, oh, energy efficient and stuff like that. And the LED bulbs were out, but they were too expensive for people to actually like jump on board. Um, at that time, like two or three years ago, they slowly started, um, like more and more brands started um, coming out. So the technology became cheaper and also competition made things cheaper. So when I had signed up for those, uh, for those deals at Fry's, uh, most of it was junk. And then all of a sudden it was like, hey, you want to get an eight pack of bulbs for like $16? And I'm like, that's 16 good, is a big number. Good. Yeah, I'm like, 16 is a big number, but how many bulbs do I get? And I was like, oh, it's an eight pack. Okay. I started calculating it out. I'm like, oh, these bulbs are $2 each instead of like um, eight. So I was like, okay. So then that uh, those ads started getting my attention. And I started looking and um, I didn't find any crazy deals, but they had my attention. And then one day, the fateful day, um, I looked at it and it was like, hey, you know that six core processor that costs um, like $600? And I'm like, yeah. Um, it's $180 off today. Wow. That's a big difference. It knocked it down to like $400, which is... The i5s were two hundred dollars, around two hundred dollars, and the processing power of that processor was two i5s, so it exactly matched what I was looking for. And at the time, I was at my grandmother's house um, helping her with something, and um, we were on our way out, and I um, I just happened to look at my phone. I was like, okay, so. We did this, so we're about to go. Let me check fries real quick. And I just happened to check it on that day. And uh, Ray Ray was talking with my grandmother, and I'm like, I saw that price, and I'm like, Rachel, we got to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I immediately went to fries and bought the processor, and then did not have money to get anything else. So... Um, so it was a slow process. Yes, over the course of probably four months, I kept checking everybody for sales, and um, eventually, I um, pieced together my computer. I probably saved like eight hundred dollars in the process. That's good. That's good. <laughs> and. Um, I love the processor that I have now. Uh, there, there's currently faster ones out, but um, I just I just really like that I didn't have to spend like I think altogether it may have been like a three thousand dollar computer, but because of it, every piece I got was on rebate, and I got it over the course of like six months. Um, I probably got oh, four times the computer I would have gotten. Wow. That's crazy. See, now, that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Just get it piece by piece. I mean, I know it sucks because you have to be patient and you can't just do it all right away, but that, that seems some, like a good way of doing it. Yeah, one thing that I did worry about is, like, what if I buy the thing and it just doesn't work? Like, they have, like, a, a warranty that's, that counts days so like let's say you get it up you order it from new egg or something like that and it has like a 90 day warranty or whatever um if you don't get all your parts for like six months then by the time you put it together and uh, it doesn't work i'm like how like how does that whole rebate process work 
I mean, yeah, return policy and all that. Just gotta be lucky, uh, I guess. Yeah, so... I was already halfway through when I thought about, like, halfway getting the parts when I thought about that. And I was like, well, I guess I hope, just hope they all work. And they did, so. Uh, Can't you research it, though, and make sure that it all uh, it all works together? Because, see, this is. This yeah, is I'm talking like, about, like, getting a faulty product. Oh. Uh, yeah, I didn't even think of that. Yeah, that's, that's the only issue about, like, piecing everything together and waiting. Um. Uh, it was like, what if you what if you get the RAM first and it's and then all of a sudden you end up with a bad stick? Then I don't know, like depending on what brand you get, they may be like a really nice brand and they have like a lifetime warranty no matter what. But not all brands are like that, so it's like a little a little bit of a gamble as far as that goes. But uh I think that's yeah. what I'm gonna have to do. That uh, sounds like a good plan. Yep, I'm gonna be like everybody at Fry's. Do you <laughs> have you signed up for the promo codes? <laughs> see, that, see, that's like my my girlfriend's like that. She she signs up for all the sales for anything and everything, so she knows when anything goes on sale. And yeah. then she's of course she's like, hey, I got this on sale. I got this on sale. And then you know, me being a dude, I'm like, eh, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to sales. It's yeah, not signing I up for stuff. I don't want people to have my personal information. I'd rather so, pay full price for this thing, even though I was like, yeah, it's a little bit cheaper, but I'd rather just pay full price, I guess. Sometimes, sometimes for the thing. Yes, I'm like, sometimes, yes. Other times, I'm like, yeah, I'll save $180. <laughs> yeah, like, I have no problems waiting. So, like, yeah. let's say a game or something like that. It's like, I'll wait until it, like goes on sale or something like that, like the winter sale or something like that. Oh so. yeah, 100% for that. Um, me, I won't watch stuff like a hawk. Like, I won't I won't be checking it every day. Yeah, like every something day. like I'll glance at it and just be like, oh, those are, I don't need that at the moment, so I think I'll just wait. And it's like, oh, I should probably get that before I forget. Uh, I'm terrible at everything because I'll see things on sale and I'm like, oh yeah, I want to get that. And then the last day of the sale will come by, and I'm like, uh, you know, it's now or never. Either I do it. You don't know how many games I've missed out on sale just because I wait for the last day and then forget about it. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, trying to think. Me, I'm terrible at rebates. Like, um, uh, when I when I built this computer, uh, I had like eight rebates I needed to fill out <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, it was I I had to make sure I did it because if not it was like probably a couple hundred dollars I'd be um, just wasting and I'm like there's no excuse I had six months to <laughs> piece everything together um, do y'all know about the uh Closed loop coolers, like the liquid coolers for uh, PCs. Not off the top of my head. I know like what they are, but I don't really. I don't. I don't really know too much about them. Okay. Yeah, that's above my pay grade. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the first one I got was for this computer, and um, it's pretty cool. It's basically a tiny radiator that you attach to your processor. Is it time to sleep? I don't like rain and darkness. Yeah. Oh, is it time to sleep? Yes. Yes. It's I'm in the desert and it's not like it's super bright out. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Cool. One thing I hope they don't change. In the. Uh, Ever <laughs> is napping makes the clouds go away. <laughs> oh, does it? Oh, the, yeah. the fog. Yeah. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, the, when um, does it rain in the Java version? I don't ever. Really uh, it does, it. but I think it rains like at night, kind of thing. Okay. Or I mean, it 
I mean, I think it's only like rain or snows, like at night kind of thing. So I just usually just, whenever I go to bed, it sometimes rains, sometimes it snows, but I just go to bed and then just okay. bypass the whole thing. Okay. Because yeah, I was thinking, I'm like, I don't think I've ever seen it raining your stream. I think the only time I saw it rain was like Sky Factory. The only time I remember it raining is Sky yeah. Factory. Yeah. And Sky Factory rain is super helpful. Yeah. Because you can eat it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oops. So, yeah, for the little uh, radiator things, I. What was it? I wanted to kind of revamp my whole uh, cooling system. Oh, I was trying to optimize everything. Because even though I had the computer built and it was way, it was much, much faster than um, the i5 I was working on. Twice as fast. <laughs> um, you still wanted more power? Yeah, After Effects. Like the renders would take. Like six hours. That's uh, not good. And I'm like, That's... this can't, this can't be right. So I started doing a bunch of research, and I could not figure it out. Um, I was like, maybe it's the network. Maybe I should, um, I should like, cause I I got a um a, a, a network storage box, and. It was one that I had wanted for like two years and I finally got the money for it. And I'm like, yeah. And I finally got it, set it up, and the renders were still slow. And I'm like, I don't want to really render it locally because I want to kind of leverage all the computers that I have built over the years to like everybody just take a frame and just go. But um, it wasn't working out. So I tried a few different things and oh I think I messed up. <laughs> yeah, I did. Crap. Okay, one, two, three. So I'm not working with dirt. Put this shovel. Ah oh, okay. So yeah, started looking online. I, I, I tried the only thing I could figure out on my own was the networking stuff, um, and that turned out not to work. My network was too slow, and um, like some of the um, computers kept like re like two computers were render try to render the same um, the same thing, and then they'd end up both skipping a frame. So the whole render ended up being like really spotty and. Um, really slow because they, they kept like fighting over the same frames. So uh, I just ended up giving up on that. And then one day, um, there's one YouTuber. He started talking about um, this one company that builds these really nice, uh, really quiet and like efficiently built computers. They're named Puget Systems. Uh, those guys were really, really smart. Like, I met like the one guy that I met at Fry's. I met like a crowd of them, like, and everybody knows like all the intricacies of the like the most optimum way to build a computer and like testing it and all kinds of stuff. So if I didn't want to build my own computer, I'd probably order one from them. Um. Uh, you you may have just sold me on having them build my computer because I, the way you're making it seem is is like building a computer is hard and there's a lot of stuff and I'm too lazy to do as much research as, as you have done. There is uh, it does take a while. I mean, it is. Um, I had a family friend build mine for me, and I'm super thankful for it. But there's a lot that goes with it and stuff like that. So um, he built it for me. So just like, which was super awesome. So I only know through him, I guess. But yeah, it's mm -hmm. definitely a whole process. It's super helpful yeah. and it's super like useful and stuff like that. But at the same time, just like there's a lot that goes with it. Hmm. Yeah, cause, yeah. Cause with my first computer, or the one that I'm using now, uh, I had a friend help me with it. And this was about 
five going on six years now. Uh-huh. So, um, you know, I'm thankful he was there to help me because he was kind of basically doing most of the work. Mm-hmm. And I was just kind of there to hold things for him. <laughs> Moral support. <laughs> that's like, yeah. That's like me when, it's a, when I need to work on my car. Like I go to my stepdad for help and I just hand him tools. <laughs> yeah, this is basically what I did. <laughs> Do you need the heat sink or you need the thermal paste? All right, okay, cool. Here you go. So, you know, that's what I did. Uh, so, but I got, I got kind of the, 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 the gist of it. Yeah. But I'm not going to sit and be like, yeah, I got this. I'm going to go solo it and just take care of the stuff. Because I'm going to end up breaking stuff and then I'm going to get angry and then break other stuff and then nothing's going to work and then I've wasted all those hundreds of dollars to just look yeah, at a pile of crap. I'd rather pay someone to do it and knows who that knows what they're doing and instead of just means like, oh, I want a computer for streaming or gaming or something like that. It's like, I'll buy the parts and I'll help you. Like like you said, like I'll hand you the parts and be like, here you go. But yeah, I don't have, <clears throat> I'm not too knowledgeable in like building PCs and stuff like that. I can do all the research, but once I have everything, just be like, uh, I'm kind of not in, not in my area of expertise, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I got I got a real phobia about building things because anytime I've ever tried to put anything together, and this this is this goes for my car too. Whenever I've done any kind of work on my car, I always end up breaking something, and <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna risk that with with computer parts because they're hard to come by and they're expensive, and there's no like oh well okay we'll we'll trade you for this one since you broke it. So yeah, uh, I'm it's. Like I'd rather just have somebody else take care of it for me because I already know I'd break anything that I touch. Yeah. Yeah, I um it's like working on cars and working on like PCs, it's like that whole like if you like building stuff, like building your own PC and building your own car, it's, they kinda like if you're into both, they kinda go hand in hand. It's like you got tools, like certain specific tools certain specific tasks and all that kind of stuff um yeah you know you get to customize it the way that you want and you yeah get the performance you want out of it yeah yeah um so but as you, far you, as you can like, hit cars with the hammer and the torque wrench <laughs> or, a, <laughs> or a, a breaker bar you can't do that with a computer <laughs> yeah um so i'd say for me like what kind of tips the scale as far as I'll work on it and I'll let somebody else work on it, it's um, it's finances. So like, um, I think like, of course the company's gonna charge a fee to build the computer. One like maybe because of shipping and they have to do extra things to make sure like stuff doesn't rattle around or come loose and bang around inside. You that's the last thing you want is like yeah. I'd rather I'd rather pay extra for that. Just be like, do what you need to do. Yeah. Take care of my baby. Yeah. Um, so there's like an extra cost for that. And then there's also, they ha- they're running a business. They have to make profit and stuff like that. So there's an extra price for that. Um, as far as, um, as far as I go with, um, with building things, we might need to bring these, cu- uh, these chests over. Are they right here at the end of this? They're yeah, they're way over there. Oh, they're like two. Wow. They're, they're okay. still by the 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 big contraption. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, as far as um. Like as far as working on my own car and as far as building my own computers, I like doing both. I kind of don't have time for both anymore. And I have money to pay somebody else to do one of those. So if it's like because I'm more because I like building computers more then I will pay somebody to work on my car. And I feel like you're the opposite where it's like you like working on your car more and you're more confident with your car. So yeah, and, and it, somebody, yeah. It comes down to trust, dude. When my brother uh my brother kind of instilled this in me when it came to cars because he was the guy that got me into cars. Uh-huh. But it's like we don't trust anybody 
Oh, we and not that we don't trust anybody, but it's hard to trust somebody with your car because that's that's like you said, it's your baby. So yeah. and some people take shortcuts and then they'll they can mess something up and then this and that. So this this actually happened to my girlfriend. She she took her car in for an oil change, and when they were bringing the car down on the car lift, they left the door open and messed up the whole door. So like it bent the door up and. It, she had to go through this whole ordeal to get them to pay for it and this and that. And so basically she didn't have her car for almost three months because they had to fix the door. They had to find a door and make sure that the way that the door bent, it didn't do frame damage. So once they had that all figured out, because if there's frame damage, they total it up. And then she has to get into the car over something stupid. So long story short, three months without a car and fighting with this company, she's like, you know what, from now on, you just changed my oil because I don't have anything to worry about. So, yeah, I'd rather. Yeah, it, it would suck. But on the yeah. bright side, they gave her a forty thousand dollar car for her, her, her uh, rental car. Oh, that wow. they that they just pulled off the lot, and they're like, "Yeah, here you go. This is your car while we fix our mistake." <laughs> and then three months later, you're like, okay. Your car is back, and you're like, ah. Yeah, man. I, 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 I mean, uh, she has a nice car, but that that it was a an Acura. It was a, a T T L Acura T L, yeah. and it was like the top of the line model with all the bells and whistles, and like the sports mode, and the big back seat, and all of this other stuff. And I think it was all wheel drive, and oh, like, this car is nice. We should just tell them they can keep that car. We'll take this one. <laughs> yeah, when uh, I had my uh, accident, my car accident, I uh, went to get a rental car, and I got, like, a really nice, I think it was, like, a Kia or thing, I think. It was, like, the new Kias, I guess. And it was, like, I had an old Toyota Corolla, and it was just, like, super outdated, but it was it worked. And when it was in the shop, I was, like, I had the super modern car, and I was, like, I'm not used to this, but this is awesome. But um, it had, like... The GPS and stuff like that. It was it was pretty awesome, but yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then you almost feel bad. You're like, I don't want my car back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, me, I've always been the opposite. Like for some reason, people like backing up into my parked car. Oh no. Um. So mm. there was this. There was these few months where, uh, or like like over the course of a year, like three people backed up into my car. I'm like, what are y'all doing? <laughs> just, I don't understand. Just That's pretty like, bad. Watch where you're backing up. It's so silly. Um, so during those times, I had to get a rental car, and uh, one of the one of those times, they're like, oh, uh, what was it? The person picked me up in a Mustang. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, most people are like, ooh, Mustang. Me, I'm like, oh, it's a Mustang. Okay. And then I try to get in it, and I'm like... You're too like, tall for the Mustang? Yeah! I have to, like, freaking bend my neck and, like, get in, and then... It, like, was, it was like the 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 baseline model Mustang, wasn't it? I, I don't even know. Probably. Uh, uh, did it okay? Did it look like it was ready to go racing? I have no idea. Because <laughs> because I my my friend has a Mustang, but he he went like the top of the line Mustang, so it has the racing seats and all that stuff, and he fits in it just fine. And he's like hmm. six six two six three. Okay. But if you look at the the baseline Mustang, he yeah he, he doesn't fit in it at all. <laughs> yeah, it was most likely that one then. Um... Oh, so what I'm doing is I'm placing railroad pieces um, so we can move these materials all the way down the bridge. Um, what you can do is start just pushing them along, like just lining them up. I can do that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it was most likely the, the base model. Um and like yeah, like most people, when well, most people hear or see a Mustang, they're like, "Ooh, me, I couldn't fit in it." So I'm like, "Oh, I hate, 
I was indifferent towards Mustangs until I got in one, and now I hate Mustangs. <laughs> 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 so, um, so yeah, I was like, oh, well, this that car, like, I got out of it, or like peeled myself out of it, and then I went into the uh, went into the place, kind of like trying to relax my neck, and then he's like, um. He's like, what? So, what size car did you want? And I'm like, what's the cheapest? <laughs> so I'm like, oh, <laughs> the only, the only reason I'm here is because my car is busted. I am not trying to spend like, because with the insurance they take care of some of it, but if you end up like upgrading the car, you got to pay the difference, right? Yeah, yeah, because they'll they'll be like, oh, we'll call, we'll uh, we'll pay for a rental up yeah. to uh, like sixty or seventy bucks, but if you want something else, that something that's more than that a day. Then yeah. you have to cover the difference. Yeah, so I was like, what's the cheapest? And he's like, ah. And he looked around, and he really didn't. He had, like, there was, like, just all SUVs. And I'm like, well, um, wait, what am I doing? I have rails on me. Um, so I'm like, ah. I'm like, do y'all really not have anything cheaper? <laughs> I'm like, I do not want to drive. And, he, oh, and he's like, oh, how about the Mustang? The Mustang's nice, right? And I'm like, mm, <laughs> You got anything else? And um, I lucked out because somebody had just pulled a Mazda three or something like that up. The um, like the crossover. Uh, I think so. I think I think it's a hatchback. I think that Mazda six is a bigger car. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Ray, Ray. Um. So, yeah, they had just finished washing it. It was like still wet and everything. And I was like. How much is that one? He's like, oh yeah, that one, that, that'll cover the uh, the whole fee and everything. I'm like, good, because I was not, I was not wanting to get into um, a Mustang again. Never been in a Mustang. I have to. I mean, <laughs> I've let me know what your experience is like. Well, I am. I'm only five six, so I'm sure I'll be fine. But uh, I don't know. I've all had a Toyota Corolla for the majority of my life, and then. Got into the accident, got into the Kia, and then I moved here, and I haven't driven since. So mm. it's just been like, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I do miss driving, and I'm trying to, I was trying to get my license renewed in Jersey uh-huh. while I was there, uh-huh. and I was oh, like, yeah. you live in Illinois, you can't do it, and I had everything with me, and I was just like, uh, but I might be moving back, it's like, doesn't matter, you just still live in Illinois, it's like, so I was just like, even like the secretary at the front was just like, yeah, you might not get one because you live in Illinois, but I'm like, I might be coming back soon. It's like, you can try. So I had to wait like an hour in the line just to mm. be like, oh, yeah, I have everything, but you can't, you can't do. They made you wait an hour? Pretty much. Uh. That's why I went early, too. So it was like, it opened around 8, didn't get out until like 9, 9.30. Just to be, be like, like, clear rules. Be like, no, it won't work. Like, okay. I, I hate the DMV. I do, too. That's why I went early, just to be like, I just need to come here first and then get this out of the way. And if not, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And then I went to go get breakfast and I was just like, I'm glad I did that. I, I, I hate the DMV so much. I waited about three or four years to renew the registration on my motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> See, my license is expired, so I'm trying to get a new license. But it was just like, I don't know. It's been expired for like about a year, almost two now. So I'm just trying to get like, cause my 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 work needs me to start driving, cause like driving to schools and stuff like that for after school stuff. So they need my help and stuff like that. But it's just like I have I've either been either too lazy, I don't feel like driving again, or just like I've been like, eh, I'll do it later. But I kind of need to do it soon. But so just like, but I don't know. I miss driving, but at the same time, just like I'm, I'd rather do without it. I guess sometimes I don't know. I hate driving. Yeah. I hate driving in traffic because I, <laughs> I have the worst road rage and I start yelling at people and then my blood pressure rises. And I, I don't trust other drivers because I, I see how bad they are. And every job that I've had has required me to drive. So I, I see it all day. Just people on their phone or doing other stuff. And then just I don't I just don't trust people. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah I 
threw my phone in the back just like because I was like, yeah, I don't need to look at it. I'm just, and I love driving too, so just like I want to do this forever. So I yeah. I like when uh when I had my motorcycle. I like when the roads were clear and or on a nice night when there's nobody on the road. You can just go cruising. That one was yeah. that's when it's nice. But when you're stuck next to a girl who's putting makeup on or a guy who's texting somebody, it's just like, ah, chances are I could not die here. Attention. So uh, I've placed most of the rails. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put these extra pieces up. And then I'll help push. Um, one of those carts, if you could get a, um, a mine cart and kind of sit in it and like push, uh, push up. It'll kind of like scoot all the carts. Oh, try that out. You know that in this, the one issue is like it only works on um, straightaways. So as soon as you get to like a bridge, which we have many of, <laughs> <laughs> then um, they start pushing you back. So that's one really bad issue. It's like I don't want to place down the um, the power rails right now because if one of these carts um, gets away. <laughs> I'm gonna have to back. chase it all the way back. But there is like some stopping areas, like areas that stop. Yeah, I'm, I've I've made those because I I basically spent half a stream chasing a cart. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Please tell me you had Benny Hill music playing. <laughs> it should have. Oh man, it was a nightmare. So what you could do is you could um yeah, go ahead and um like grab a few and then there we go. So I feel kind of like I'm obligated to tell you my story about Friday and why I didn't make it onto the stream. Oh. And it was <laughs> and it's just one of those it was just one of those days where Everything was just going wrong, mm -hmm. and it, it started off with UPS. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's Friday, you know, work's coming to an end, and uh, I'm on my phone checking my email and realize that my package of car parts uh, has come in. Mm -hmm. So it says it arrived at my house at a little bit before two, and I'm all excited and giddy, like yeah, you know, my okay, car parts. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. Uh, now that we don't have any bridges immediately in front of us, I'm gonna show you something. So what you? Oh, you can tell your story. Is this? Um, yeah, let's get them all on the thing, and then yeah, place it. Place it down, and then just sit on it and push for, forward, and it'll just slowly bump everybody. And then you there gotta keep go. hopping out, but can you hop out? Okay. And then just walk it, like push it with your <laughs> with your stomach. Oh, because it gets stuck on the redstone. Yeah. All and right. Then, and then hop back in it, and then you, you'll, you'll end up shoving the whole thing, and they won't they won't hop off the track. Yeah. So I'm waiting for you to get out of this tunnel, so I won't like steer any of them cricket. Um. Yeah. Yep. There we go. Yeah, the only the only issue with doing that is the uh, the bridges. So let me. There we go. Okay, so UPS and your car fights were supposed to be there, or they got there? They were supposed to be there, according oh. to the email that says they were delivered. So I get off of work, fight the traffic, make it to the house, and realize that uh, yeah, there's no package there. So. Uh, I wait a little bit, and I just happen to hop out right when the UPS driver's coming. And I talk to him about it, and he's like, yeah, I'm, it's the first time I've come down this road to deliver anything, and I haven't delivered your package. So I called UPS to try and figure out what the hell's going on. And the first guy tries to be very helpful, and he's like, oh, no, you know, we'll get on the horn and blah, blah, blah. Gives me this whole spiel about how they're going to try to track down my package. 
of they're course. gonna call me back in an hour. Of course, yeah. So, so this is around seven o'clock that all of this starts happening, and then an hour goes by, nothing happens, and then I believe I told you, Big D, that I was like, I'm trying to get this stuff taken care of, and uh, so he he doesn't doesn't respond. So I call back and try to figure out what's going on, and 30 minute wait time just to get all uh, just be able to talk to anybody. Yeah. Uh, no. So after waiting for 30 minutes, my problem is resolved in the first 30 seconds because the lady tells me, "Yeah, your package was delivered to your parents' house." Oh no. <laughs> yeah. So they give me the address, and I'm like, "You gotta be kidding me!" They could have just told me this in the first place. <laughs> yeah. So. It didn't say it on the email or anything. No, this is the no. Yeah, it didn't. It, all it said it was it was delivered to city, state, uh, oh, area code, zip code. <laughs> yeah. So it's pissed, and it was about this time. It was about this time. About this time, I was like, "All right, I'm uh, I'm getting on right now." I go to turn on my computer, and the update that I put it to do on Monday. Is just now starting. Oh no! Uh... Yeah, so I was like, it, it can't take too long to update this. <laughs> An hour goes by, and it updates. It finishes updating to 100. percent It's just the slowest crawl ever. Oh my god! And so now it's about nine o'clock, nine <laughs> something. And I'm like, I right, well, I'm at least gonna try to hop in for 30 minutes, an hour, however much longer we stream. Well, I go, put on my headsets. I'm all excited, and my headset breaks. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. So it, it cracked. Well, it didn't. It wasn't a clean break, but you know how you can adjust your headsets to get bigger and smaller depending on the yeah. size of your head. Well, it cracked, and I am now sitting with the cracked part inside of the headset so it doesn't fall off and and yeah so th pissed off about that and then I go to connect to the party that you know the group that we're in in discord mm -hmm. and my ping shoots up to like 7,000 wow. yeah so I try to disconnect I try to restart the computer I do all of this stuff and the ping is just at 7,000 and at this point it's like my night's over <laughs> it's ten o'clock. I'm just gonna go lay in bed and call this a loss. <laughs> Man. Yeah. So that that was my Friday night. The night we're all excited for. Like, yeah, no work. Yeah. It was, <laughs> I, I was. So so after all of that happened, I kid you not. About ten minutes after that happened, I just fell asleep because I, I had just given up. That's crazy how some days everything's just against you. Yeah. And then it was like things that weren't even related were still against me. <laughs> Ooh, a cave. This is scary. So yeah, I I still want to apologize for not being able to make it. Oh, just, no worries, dude. No worries. Everything was against me. <laughs> we all have those days. This is going to be interesting. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think, when's the last day I had a day where I, was, I just gave up? <laughs> um, uh, and like, I know sometimes it, it, like, right at the end of the day at work, like, programs start acting up things that program like just files disappear and I'm like you know what I'm gonna finish this in the morning <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I can't imagine how frustrating that would be just you have to go through lines and lines of code to figure out what the hell is going wrong yeah I took a coding class I can definitely see how and it was like the basic stuff and I can definitely see how like like if you have like a huge project and then like it's nothing working and you have to go through like like just just to try to figure out one thing just be like yeah that's not gonna 
I, it was, yeah, but, yeah. That's when you take the hammer and then you just hit the monitor. <laughs> You're just like, yeah, I don't want to look at you. It's like, time for a break. I'm just going to go outside, go for a walk. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to come back, but I'm going to take a walk. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to take a really long break, just not focus on this. Maybe just go to the movies or just do something. Go outside. Ignore everything. See, and that's what that's what where I really respect people that they do programming or work on computers, you know, or it, all of that stuff. Because you, when you have a problem, you can't just like smack it to see if it fixes it. You literally have to just you go through it and you have to analyze everything over and over and over and then run tests and see if what this did it or that did it. There's no shortcut. There's no like ah, I just maybe if I hit it hard enough or if I just keep trying, it'll work. It's, yeah, I don't have the patience for that. Uh, now that you say that, I actually had an issue like that this weekend. So much stuff happened this weekend. Um, so, uh, I was telling Juan that the episode 32 is like six weeks late. (laughs) But I I finally got it up. And, um, oh, it was a, a very, I don't know what I did to fix it, but, um... Every time I opened up After Effects, icons on the bottom of on my start bar disappeared. What? Yeah, it's just like some of them, some of them, they're like, I'm going to go on break. I'll be back. And I'm like, what program are you? I don't know. I need, I need to open up Photoshop. Which one of you are Photoshop? They're like, not me. Holy like, crap. Uh, is it this one? No, that's After Effects. <laughs> I'm like, God dang it. Um, so... I closed the inventory and and bed. Yeah. So this whole bed's too far away notification is getting on my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I am two steps away from the bed. It's like, nah, it's too far it away. It might just be like a coding thing. Just be like, you need to be a little closer. Uh, There's no jumping on these beds. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but um, so yeah, I I dealt like I kept when if I logged out and logged back in of Windows, then the icons would show back up. And I'm like, oh, okay, and then I work on it some more, and then they all disappear again. I'd save. Uh, what if I restart this time? And I restart it, and they were there. As soon as I open up After Effects, it disappeared. And I'm like, in hindsight, I'm like, why not just reinstall After Effects? <laughs> but what I did was like, hmm. Every time I restart, it says that this um, Snagit, um, this screenshot application. If it's ready, like, yes. Hmm? What? I hit the wrong <laughs> button. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it says Snagit was um, the last, per- last um, program to close. I'm like, well, I know there's a new version. And I didn't really like it the first time I saw it, but let me go ahead and just give it another try. So I went and paid like the 12 bucks or whatever to upgrade. And then I'm like, okay, cool. I looked at the new one. I'm like, okay, it's not that bad. It, um, when I first looked at it, I was trying to rush and I couldn't find the button I needed. So I said, screw this version. (laughs) (laughs) But now I see the button was right there. So, okay. I have no problems. Ah, I'm doing it again. I have no problems with this, uh, this version of Snagit, it's fine. And then I open up After Effects and the icons disappear again. I'm like, <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, that wasn't the problem. Let me look for other programs that could be the problem. And I keep not paying attention to the fact that every time I open After Effects, the prog- the icons disappear. So I'm like, what other program could it be? And I go through basically my entire computer Start uninstalling programs I haven't used in a long time. Start updating programs that um, have new versions. Um, I go into the Windows setup, start cleaning out like regist like was it C cleaner, start cleaning out registry things. I up I uninstall and reinstall all the browsers and everything. And then I um, basically overhaul my computer with all the software. And um, and I open up After Effects, and I kind of disappear. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> I'm just angry. <laughs> so then 
I said, you know what? Forget it. I'll, I'm just gonna finish editing the show. And then I um I get the show just about finished, and then I get frustrated. I'm like, I need to work on thumbnails. I need Photoshop, and the icon's gone. So I'm like, you know what? What if I uninstall After Effects? Uh, uninstall After Effects, and reinstall it, and everything's working. <laughs> Oh, technology. And I'm like, afterwards, I'm like, was it After Effects the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> so like, I just wasted like four hours. But my computer runs better now. <laughs> <laughs> All the software is up to date. There you go. It was just a. Uh, that's your computer's way of telling you to update and clean it. Yeah. And then um, I get to work, and I need to um, update some animations for this uh, one piece of equipment. And I open up After Effects, and the icon disappear again. And I'm like, it's happening here too. But I didn't realize that it might have been after. Like I, I had forgot that I had that whole issue. So I'm like, oh man, I might need to update this computer too. <laughs> I didn't because I needed to get other stuff done. So I just dealt with it. But um, when things slow down, I'm a uh, or I don't know. Whenever I get the chance, I'm a uh, I'm a uninstall, reinstall, just that one program to see if that was the issue the whole time. Have you ever uh, heard about that bug with uh, Intel processors? I heard yeah, about what it. What happened with that? I don't know too much about it. I just know that people are pissed about um, it. So. Yes, I think they, they say it's an oversight, like the way they designed it had a vulnerabil vulner vulnerability <laughs> in it. And now, um, basically, um, I didn't know who found it. I just they just said somebody found an issue with it. And there's my at first my boss uh, told us about it. And me, I'm like, whenever he explains certain things. Like, I have no way to relate it to myself, like, other than I have an Intel processor. I have multiple <laughs> Intel processors. How do I fix it? And, like, he's building a, um, uh, Internet of Things device. So, he's, like, it really affects him because the, the processor that he's using, um, has the vulnerability and because oh, no. because almost all processors do so whenever he um tries to sell his product they're like oh do you have that patch for it and he's like mm, no because <laughs> i don't we i have to wait he has to wait for i don't know if it's an arm processor or whatever he has to wait for arm to create a patch for it and then figure out how to put that patch into his device so like it directly affects his business if people are worried about that. Um, for the so he's basically stuck until somebody else does their job. Yes, but for the average um, layman like us, um, me, I'm like, okay, well, my the the chip that I'm using is on my Windows machine. When is Windows gonna fix it? So then I can install that update and. The guy that I listened to this morning said something about they're releasing something on the 9th. And then I also look, um, listened to another person that was on Twitch. And uh, they used to work for Microsoft. And um, he says that the update was already out. So I tried to tell my computer to, uh, to search for the update. And it, it doesn't um, have it. And I think it's because, because it's... The way they do updates is like they'll have it out, but then they'll roll it out to like a few people. And it's, a, it's a it's a gradual rollout. Yeah, if those computers don't catch fire, then they're like, okay, roll it out to some more people. And if those don't lock up, then roll it out to everybody else. So, um, I uh, I don't think it's gonna be that, that big of an issue. Um, the mic. Like, uh, what do I have that hackers want? <laughs> I was like they wouldn't come out. Like every PC is affected, uh, just about. 
um, except for maybe very, very new processors. So why would they go after me instead of going after like Target, Walmart, any retailer that uses Windows 10 devices or any type of Windows device? So I'm not really like freaking out about it. All I know is that um, basically all processors have a have a bug to where you can run malware. Oh no, that's not. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I need glass before I tear this down. Um, um, AMD is a bit more um, protected against it because of the way that they um, write their drivers for the processor. But, uh, wait, what is that? The pig? Yes, okay. Um, but, uh, What happened? Yeah, I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, you would put a piece of rail um, on here and down there, and then you could push it up the ramp. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I was doing this the hard way. Yeah, I, that same thing happened to me. And as I was doing it, I, I was thinking, man, there's got to be an easier way to do this. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, I don't remember what else. Yeah, uh, AMD, AMD's drivers are um, written uh, in a way that it doesn't affect them that much, but all process, all processes are basically affected. Oh, I'm looking for glass. That's why I'm over here. I've got a bunch of sand, like all along the, uh, all along the uh, tunnels, the ones okay. that I'm working on. Cool. Maybe I need to move the smelter. Yeah, you're more than welcome to take. I've gotten quite a bit done. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing, so I've gotten that done. <laughs> oh no. No, get out, get out. Eh. Eh. Oh, is it nighttime? Is it? Yes. So, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, as far as the whole, um, <coughs> <laughs> Gesundheit. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it was in my nose for so long. I was just like, Judd, just, it was awful. But it's finally out. <laughs> I hate when that happens. Man. Yeah, I had seen that, that article, I guess, when they posted that Intel had a big old problem. And yeah. Like, any kind of news like that, I'm just like, eh, I think I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, m with with most issues with, like, Intel and stuff like that, as long as you're m most up-to-date with everything, then you're good. Because even, like, when that when that Equifax thing happened, and people uh, were all freaking out, like, oh, you know, my information, I'm all... I don't remember the last time I got my credit score checked. So, uh, I'm pretty <laughs> sure I'm good, and then... Even if I did, I'm probably as broke as the people that are going to try to take my info. So, I mean, you're going to try to squeeze water out of a rock at this point. <laughs> um, so, not to be all scary and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, I know someone who works in... Um, He's he. What is those like? Like identity, identity uh, theft and all that. Mm, uh, the the guard, identity guard kind of stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The 
It takes your I didn't yeah, I go Yeah. Monitor your credit score and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I know somebody who's um like a salesperson for um those types of that I think it's like identity what is it? Identity lock? I self what is it? Lock. Life lock. Jesus. Life alert. Life, yeah, there's life, life lock. alert. <laughs> There's uh um, there's life lock and there's identity guard or whatever the other one's called. And um I was talking with him and one of the other um people that he works with. Um and they were saying that they've they've come up with these things called um hybrid identities where okay. they take like different pieces of um people's identity and create like a brand new person. Get out of here. <laughs> um it's super creepy sounding because like it I don't know it's 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 kind of scary cuz it's like yeah they took your identity but they took your identity and used it as a different person that doesn't exist and it, it's like a Frankenstein identity That's crazy Sounds like and a I'm, plot to a scary movie yeah, and I'm not really sure, like, I remember when he told me at the time, but then, uh, like, just like how you said, like, oh, I think I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't remember all the details, but, um, okay. I think. So there's no glass in the chest that I could see. And. Uh, hmm. <laughs> uh, wow, this tunnel is really long. Yeah, there's another one that's really long, but it's also sand. And I was... I was getting a little claustrophobic. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't like this anymore. Um, what we can do, since I'm out of glass, is there's a bunch of sand along the tunnels. Uh, there's like yes. chests and stuff like that. So, yeah, yes. if you wanna, if you wanna visit those. Hmm. Um. Well, one thing is we. We're expanding the railroad, but the tunnels aren't being done. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oops. Yeah, so, I kind of just went ahead and just worked on them. Yeah, I think we have like maybe three three tunnels now. All right, I'll head back once I'm done here. Yeah. Once my pickaxe is, I only have like one pickaxe left, so I should be almost done. Okay. I've almost solved the... Minecart crisis of 2018. <laughs> um, let me think. Oh, I'm like, why am I not running? I need to eat. So. <clears throat> Yeah, we have the first one. Got it. And two. Oh, yeah, no, we got two. No, three? Two and a half, because this halfway through this one, um, I need glass. Okay. There's sand underneath here if you want me to go dig it out. Um, no, we have plenty of sand. It's just the smelter. The smelter is so far away that even if we dump stuff in there, somebody has to camp it or else it'll, um, it'll unload. Like the, the world chunk that it's in. Um, if nobody's standing next to it, it'll freeze. It'll like kind of suspend itself and it'll stop cooking. Um, I can camp it if you need me to. I mean, I'm trying to think. Um, is there something 
Like, is there something else that we could do that would be better than a than a the super smelter? Because just a row of furnaces. Um, I let me see. Isn't there a minecart with a stove in it? Is there? Yeah, I saw it. Uh, it's right here. There's six of them. There's six. Oh no. Yeah, no, six it's with chests. Like with the furnace. I don't know if they do if that works with the furnace though. Dang. We might want to try it out and see what happens, but. No. No, you only can put a chest, a hopper, or a TNT. Dang. Because that would be cool. Because then we could just sit it in there and um, put a bucket of lava in each one. Hmm. I want to say the Java version has it. <laughs> Maybe. It might. Should we just set up a furnace anyways and then just put the glass in it right here? I mean Uh oh, oh, I'm glad you said that. So, um for issues like this, what what I was planning on starting is um at the entrance of every tunnel, on one side we'll have a chest and a crafting table, and then on the other side we'll have three furnaces. So let me go ahead and um, start put. How far are we? Is this is this right in the middle? This one, and then over this is another tunnel. Because if this is right yes. in the middle, then it should work. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so yeah, let's put them right. Let me let me let me do this outside first. Okay, so there, there. Yeah, the the furnaces are in this chest right here. Okay. And up. Okay. I know. Wrong button. There. Cool. Uh. Then let's get my shovel. So, I, I feel like I have to ask you this every time a new season of anime is going to come out. But <laughs> what uh, what shows are you excited about for this season? Uh, so there is one season that one season one show that's continuing, and it is called uh, uh, the Ancient Magus's Bride. So yes. I'd say 100% watch that. Um, there is another show that's super duper ultra gorgeous called Violet Violet Evergarden. But Netflix has it. So you won't be able to watch that for like six months. <laughs> um, there's season two of uh, Overlord. Bad, bad, bad. Wait, the the one that comes out on Netflix, is it they're not releasing it for a while or is it out and just can't see it yet? Um Netflix doesn't do the simulcasting like um a lot of the other streaming services do. They um they do bit like they they set it for binge like, like oh. the whole season's out, you can watch it this weekend. Okay. So we gotta wait for it to all come out before Yeah. Um what else is there? Um what there what one thing that may be changing, I I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think somebody said that they might be releasing it weekly in others like in other like in certain countries. Cause in Japan, Japan doesn't have I guess binge culture like the US does. Um so in Japan anime comes out weekly like it does on TV. And I'm like, I get it, but I don't like it. <laughs> it's still annoying. <laughs> yeah. Just give me all of it right now. 
Well, it, it's one of the things where it's like, yeah, if you give it to me all at the beginning of the season, then yeah. But if I have, if I have to wait until the whole thing's over, and then you give me the whole thing, then um, that's also fine. But um, I don't have time to watch like sh giant chunks of shows like that. Like I've changed, I've changed since I've done the podcast. I've changed my the way I watch my shows. I used to watch it. Um, there we go. So now we got three chests. You can go ahead and throw stuff in there. Um. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> Shot and opened the chest at the same time. Did you? Did one break? <laughs> it exploded. It be, it, things were everywhere. <laughs> I told you, I always find a way to break everything. <laughs> Even in the uh, digital world, I guess. Yeah, at least this way. I mean, thankfully, it's not permanent, but. I have no idea how I even did that just now. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> just like, I was like, okay, you can go ahead and do it. You walk over, you're like, hey, yeah. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I did it the wrong way. <laughs> I think that's everything. Okay. Taco, when you get a chance, can you start the wall? Just just in case. Because that way I have like a general idea oh. of what to do. Okay. So... Do you want me to put all the sand in there, or just a couple of? St or well, I guess I'm gonna fit three. Never mind. Uh, yeah, you can put all all the sand that we that you have. Oh, we need to. We need to. This needs to get up as well. Yeah, there's a there's a bunch of tunnels. Um, let's see. I kind of started one over by um. Over there, yeah. Yeah, so I guess. I'll finish setting that one up because it's the farthest along. And I'll start uh, getting rid of the uh, the ceiling here as well. Okay. Yeah. And then um... I'll just try not to break anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what you get is you could do uh, also start the ceiling. Um, so basically, it needs to be three tall, but actually four tall because we're gonna do. The um, we're gonna uh, redo the ceiling. Okie dokie. So I'm gonna I'll make go. myself a couple of stone pickaxes then. Yes. Do you know? I think if you oh, I don't have the crafting table over here yet. Um, They're all along the uh, the uh, track. I think I remember the pattern for it. Yeah, it's like a T-shape. I thought there was a spare one in here somewhere. <clears throat> there we go. Yeah, there's an iron one and two stone ones over here. So. I like the uh, double bridge over here. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, and then one, one to your that one. <clears throat> ah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, how it kind of like just taps that little eyelid. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I was putting a stair here. 
No, not a slab. Burn the slab. Uh, not upside down. There. Are you gonna cooperate? There we go. Uh. Do we have a shovel? Yeah, there was one in that one cart that you, uh. I'm like, why is my shovel so low? Alright, that ceiling is done. Is it from digging out that one half? I I must have did something this weekend. I did a bunch of stuff this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> this weekend was super busy, both bad and good ways. Yeah. <clears throat> Oops. Why am I using this mouse? I need my other mouse. I used to. Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta get used to this. Uh, okay. Um. But, yeah, there you go. What was it? At work, uh, my boss uses this Logitech MX Master. Like a. Like an $80 mouse. I'm like. I will, Fancy. <laughs> I, will, I will never spend that much money. Oh, no, it's, I think it's a $100 mouse. Oh. The, yeah, I want to say it was like 99 or something like that. And I have like a simple Logitech mouse that was like 20, 30 bucks, I think. Or not even. Yeah. Yeah. And I had, um, I was using the mouse that came with my, like, Fifteen dollar <laughs> Logitech set. <laughs> nice. And then, uh, what was it? At work, I was using some other kind of cheap mouse. And then, uh, my mouse stopped working. <laughs> and, um, or my keyboard started working. Something stopped working. And then he upgraded me. And he got me the same mouse that he has, which I hated at first, but I've gotten used to it. And then uh, I got so used to that mouse at work that I hated my mouse at home. <laughs> so I, um, I'm like, I'm not spending a hundred dollars on a mouse, like never. Just. <laughs> Just take the one from work and then just take it back to work every day. <laughs> uh, actually, no. Sometimes he gets on my computer. So, like, he try to get on the computer. Be like, where's the mouse? I'm like, oh. It's at home. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, A wizard took it. <laughs> so, um, what was it? So yeah, I really wanted a better mouse. Uh, I started looking around, and uh, Peter. <clears throat> hacker. Hello, whoa. How are you doing tonight? Um, ah, what happened to my mouse? Okay. Oh, why did it throw me over here? That's weird. Um. And it's so hard for me to keep my train of thought. <laughs> oh, I was looking for a mouse. And. Oh, uh, it's about to say, okay. Um, do we have any. Where's the wood? I'll make a crafting table. Uh. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, so I was looking for a mouse, and oh, there's two crafting tables right here. I will 
take one of those. And <clears throat> I started looking at, I think it's the MX Master is what he had. So I started looking at MX Master, MX anything. There's an MX Anywhere, which is like the little, little one for the uh, laptops. But that one's like $50 or something like that. I'm that's like, that's too much. That's exactly. So I'm like, well, I'm not getting that either. Um, <clears throat> and then, I hate I hate when they make something smaller and then charge more for it. Like, oh, here's a little mini mouse. It's like eighty bucks. <laughs> okay, I'll just take my regular mouse. It does the exact same thing. So one thing that I do, like one feature that I did find out, like. There was a feature on there, and it was like, oh, you can do this, this, and that. And I'm like, I don't know what that means. Moving on. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I didn't... Um, I didn't really care about the feature, because I didn't even know what exactly it meant. And then I found out what it meant, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, you know, some mice have like a one, two, three. Uh, some Logitech mice have a one, two, three at the bottom. Yeah. Do y'all know what that's for? Like extra buttons? Hotkeys? Oh, no. Like on the actual bottom of the mouse? Oh, that. Be, no. uh, uh, like there'd be actual a one, a two, and a three. No. Uh, got me. Okay. So, you know how they have that little dongle thing? The little, little pairing? Um, it's like a little Bluetooth kind of thing that, that you... Uh, pair the wireless mouse with yeah 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 um with those types of mice that have one two and three on the bottom you can pair it to three different devices that's cool and then you just push i don't know if you push the button or you or something and yeah i think there's a button and you push it and it'll switch so basically you can have one mouse for like your laptop the um, PC and like another laptop or something, and then whichever one you boot up or whichever one you're using, you just tap the button and it'll switch to that uh, to that um, computer. That's pretty cool. And I was like, oh, yeah. that's that's really nice. <laughs> so I don't have to I don't have to like go to this laptop and be like pair, and then wait for it to sync and all that kind of stuff. You just, you just do it once, and then it hops. Do you still need the dongle for it, or is it just... It... Yeah, a do oops. A dongle into each device, but once you set it up, then, like... Because I think the dongles pair... Like, it pairs with, um... Like, the mouse pairs with the dongle. And then... I think if you pair it with another one, then it kind of loses the connection with the other device that it was paired to. Or, so I think if I have this computer on and this little baby laptop on, I don't think one mouse could control both. Yeah. And in order for me to switch from one to the other, I have to dis I have to like repair it with another one, and it'll unpair itself with the first one. Oh, so with this one you have multiple you, dongles and it'll pair it to all of them, and you yeah, it'll pair it to all three, and then you can switch exactly. Nice. So, so I'm like, I still think fifty dollars is too much, but <laughs> definitely thought about getting like one of the uh, keyboards that like glow, I guess, with. But I think I those are way too expensive. Like, like the red, uh, green, and blue, I think. Mm -hmm. I think they're a bit too expensive for me at least, but I don't know. Just so that I can play like games in the dark and stuff like that. So that way I'm not looking for keys and stuff like that, but I don't know. Uh, okay. Play Minecraft in the dark and I don't have to have the lights on. Just play that in the... <laughs> Yeah, I used to think the keyboards that did that were ridiculous until I actually had to play a game in the dark, and then I go, oh, all right, it, it all makes sense now. 
I haven't found like well actually I have. I finally found um like a backlight that I actually really, really like. And it's on it's on my laptop. Um somebody had got somebody had bought me this um pretty decent laptop. Cause um it was what was it? I wanted something that I could actually draw on. Cause I want to start um, updating the logos and stuff for all the channels, and um, start making icons for um, different hosts on the show and stuff like that. Instead of everybody having the same icon, <laughs> um, <laughs> and I never got around to it because I was trying to find. Um, oops, I was trying to find. A laptop that I can actually that I can actually draw on because I, I was like, oh, why don't you just get a iPad Pro because they have the Apple Pen and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, I don't have nine hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, it's well, so easy to be like, oh, you should get this and this and this, and just be like, yeah, how are you gonna get it for me because it costs like a thousand dollars or more. Yeah, <laughs> and then it's like, oh, the Surface does that. It's in a lot of the commercials. I'm like, yeah. I don't have eight hundred dollars plus a hundred dollars for the pin, so I, yeah, I don't have nine hundred dollars. Um, it's one of the things where it's like I think about it, kind of like I think about my um, my computer, where it's like instead of getting these cheap tablets and stuff like that, why don't I just get a like probably not top of the line, but like a decent tablet and see how it works. But I don't use the tablet that much, so I can't justify spending like five, like five to seven hundred dollars on a decent tablet. Yeah. So um, I started looking for a laptop. So I'm like, yeah, the two-in-one laptops they have, they flip around and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I could just do that. And I started looking up all the um, prices for them, and I'm like. Five to seven hundred dollars for a laptop. That's that's a decent price, I think. Um, so I started looking around, and uh, I couldn't I couldn't find one that was a uh, that like didn't cost twelve hundred dollars because all the ones that have that technology built in, they're all like twelve hundred dollars. They're all pretty much almost max. Yeah, it's like the yoga, um, yoga seven and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I listen to these other tech reviewers and everything, and they they're always they always get to test out these new, uh, new really nice laptops. And they're like, oh, it's only twelve hundred. I'm like, only. only? <laughs> that's that's the... like twelve hundred to you means something completely different than what twelve hundred means to me. Yeah, and it's like if you're a professional and like you run your business off of the laptop, then I'm like, yeah, I can see you investing twelve hundred dollars. And I'm like, I just run a YouTube channel for a hobby. <laughs> 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 I can't justify twelve hundred dollars. If I'm gonna spend twelve hundred dollars, I'm gonna build a better desktop. So, um, I ended up finding one at Costco. Of all places, I I never really thought of Costco as a place to buy computers until my boss bought like five um, computers for the render farm there, and uh, I was doing some shop. I don't know if it was uh yeah it was two Christmases ago. I was um doing a bunch of shopping. And I was trying to find like I was in find a laptop mode, and uh, <clears throat> I was going to get. A Dell, like the, I think the singer. <laughs> I was, no. I was gonna say that, but I was like, I'm gonna keep it quiet. <laughs> no, I couldn't uh, resist. <laughs> uh, Shopping in the deep. <laughs> uh, it's nighttime. I was gonna get um a Dell Inspiron 7000 series because that uh that. Um, that line has the 
works with the stylus pen and all that kind of stuff. So it has the the um, what is it? Active stylus technology built in. And those are like eight nine hundred dollars, and I'm like, ah, that's still too much for something I'm not gonna use all the time. So I um I kind of gave up on it, and then some um somebody said something about Costco, and I started looking there, and uh, I found a a laptop that was a uh, pretty decent, and uh, it was like six hundred bucks. That's not bad. And it had it had double the RAM of the other uh other laptop I was looking at. I was like, hey, this is actually I think it was um it was a mobile i7 uh, uh 16 gigs of RAM. Um I didn't really care about the video card cuz it's a laptop. Um so, and it, it's not a gaming laptop, so is that part's not really important. And uh yeah, just those two things. Just the um, the RAM and the uh, the RAM and the processor. I was like, this is that. Oh, and it had a uh, SSD. So I'm like, no SSD is a deal breaker. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I looked at it. And I'm like, you know what? This is actually a pretty decent thing. And, it was, and it's only six hundred, so it's like two hundred dollars cheaper than the computer I I almost decided to get. So I was like, perfect. Um, the only thing is, I had to like talk to Ray Ray. Like, <laughs> Can hey. I buy this, please? <laughs> and um, before I got the courage to ask her, I ended up talking to um, to a family member, and I was like. Can I borrow your uh, Costco card? <laughs> and they're like, sure, and handed it to me. Uh, oh, and I said, one day, can I borrow your Costco card? And they're like, sure, and they handed it to me. And I'm like, no, 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 not today. Um, I I told them like the whole story. Like, I was looking for a laptop and all that kind of stuff, and I looked at um, Costco and that their their computers are way better than everybody else. As far as specs go, um, and they're like, oh, okay. Um, and they're like, just let me, uh, let me know when you want to get it and I'll, um, I'll do that. And I was like, yeah, cause it's on a, um, it was on, uh, I think it was Black Friday sale like two years ago. And, um, I said that the sale's over, so I have to wait for another sale. And they're like, oh no, they do, they like check it right now. They probably like the, it, it, the sale ended and then they started it back up the next day. Oh no. <laughs> I'm like really so i checked it and yeah it was still on sale it was just like sale 2.2 or something like that it was, i don't know what kind of sale that they run but or like why did they even why did they even put the expiration date they like probably it's gonna start back up the next day they probably i guess like they don't people don't realize that it's like oh they're doing computers and they're like let's just do it again just to see but um, or maybe they're just doing that to make um like artificial scarcity they're like it's only on sale for t- till tomorrow. That's and, true too. That could be it. Yeah, and then the next day they turn it on, so then the next person that sees it like it's on sale till tomorrow. You're like, ah. So yeah, that makes sense now. Now that I think about it. Um. So yeah, I checked it. Um. <laughs> I checked it again, and the sale was still there. And I'm and I'm, I was like, yeah. So it's this one, and she's like. Okay, and started pulling out her wallet. I'm like, no, I just wanted to borrow the card. You don't have to get it from me. And they're like, no, we'll just charge it to our business. And I'm like, that's but, cool. But it's six hundred dollars. <laughs> I I can't pay you back right now. They're like, no, it's fine. <laughs> and they're like, uh, I'm like, okay, thank you. And they're like, yeah, it'll be your Christmas present. And I'm like, uh, thank you. <laughs> Best Christmas uh, ever. Yeah, so... Um, you break out in tears right there. <laughs> I felt like it, but it, it, it was somebody who I don't see all the time, so I'm not really, like, super-duper ultra-close with them. And, uh... <laughs> so... Yeah, Christmas came, and I got it, and it was the best Christmas present I ever got. And... Um, the craziest thing... 
that laptop boots up in five seconds. That's cool. Literally. Literally. My five PC seconds. takes an hour to boot up. <laughs> Are you ready? Do you have SSDs? Yeah, it takes forever. It's got to like go through eight different programs and I got to close out the ones that I don't want to have on and then still... I don't think you have an SSD. Yeah, I'll have a something. <laughs> uh, I need to look at your computer one day. Because... You will be impressed by how long this ancient technology has been working. <laughs> if anything, if you get an SSD, that'll rewind your computer back like five years. You'd be like, man, I f it feels like I've only had this computer for like a year. I don't know. <laughs> you <ever seen> <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, I don't want to badmouth my computer because it's got me through World of Warcraft. But at the same time, like I don't, I don't have much confidence that it's gonna run anything else. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I wouldn't say it would run something. I don't. I haven't played Crisis. All I know is people co people compare like game graphics fidelity to Crisis, but I wouldn't say it run like the best of games. But as far as like loading things up and um turning on in less than an hour uh, ssd will definitely um speed things up especially now since uh ssds have been around for a while and they're a lot cheaper than they used to be and then um if you get um some liquid cooling on there so then the processors can just chill literally <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that, I'm sure there's. I can upgrade yeah. this whole system, but I'll say at that a, point, a I would just. I say a hundred bucks, and you buy yourself another year. Yeah, probably. Like, the, the, I can tweak it, but at the same time, I would just rather build a brand new one because I want to. I want to build like a a monster computer with mm. with like the dual monitors and. All the fancy stuff that I'm never going to use, but I can be like, yeah, it totally does it. Yeah, I can't wait so, until I get a, another monitor. That'd be that'd be the day. So yeah, so monster and double monitor are like. I just I want to have it dual monitor so I can mm -hmm. play games on one monitor and then have YouTube on the other monitor or Netflix mm -hmm. or. I, I don't know. That's pretty much exactly what I wanted for as well. A hundred bucks that you could do it. A hundred bucks, you say? Yeah. No, I need another video card. I know for certain I need a new video card. What, what video card do you have? Uh, like an NVIDIA GT 480, I think. Is it NVIDIA? Yeah, it's an NVIDIA. Oh. Hmm. I can't remember what mine was, but um, uh, I still think, I still think you'd be able to do that. With just yeah, just um, SSD and um, and a PC cooler. And I say, if anything, then that could be your um, streaming computer, like your secondary computer. Like you play your games on this rock solid new two thousand, three thousand dollar PC, and then you run a. Uh oh, I have it. He might have accidentally logged out, I guess, or lagged out. Wait, what? A Holy crap! My game is empty space. Uh, <laughs> exit. Go back in. There it goes. <laughs> See? See? Need a new PC. <laughs> Your processor is just too hot. <laughs> okay. I'm back. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna pick this up and make some and it's also uh, uh, ten o'clock as well, but time to sleep as well. Uh, no. Uh, All right. Um. Um. All right. It is time to see who is online today. Um. I have a feeling. Um. Yeah. I I'm gonna be doing all this week. I'm gonna be doing games done quick. Um. So. Um. So I'm just gonna host or slash raid them, I guess, but, um, uh, command V, um, but yeah, once again, I'm the Chosen One, thank you all so much for hanging out, thank you all for following, for lurking in chat, talking in chat, thank you all for subscribing, donating, uh, either through money or through bits, uh, following, or just being your awesome selves and all those, all those wonderful things. I'll be on tomorrow with more Minecraft in the morning, and then I don't know what I'm going to be doing in the afternoon, but we'll see. But, uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. All right. Day four of Minecraft Power Hour 2018 has come to an end. <laughs> we started a bunch of tunnels. <laughs> yes, we and, did. Uh, we'll probably finish them next time, maybe.